Good evening, gentlemen. Good afternoon, gentle women, and good morning to you too, gentle children. Today is Saturday, and most of you won't have school, so you have time to watch to watch this video for today. So what we have today is our our update that we missed for like a couple of weeks on my journey on my alt character death knight towards getting keystone hero and getting into some uh, mythic plus action on a tank i abandoned this a couple of uh, weeks ago we left at uh, getting into mythic plus into the plus 10 level trying to get into the early 1500-ish rating, trying to get the the gear required to start uh, to start you know climbing some uh, some higher keys. I had been a bit more busy recently, both in and out of the game. So in game, I had other things to do other than playing very hard on this character, uh, namely killing uh, this guy or rather this gal in time. Now that the gal, however, is dead, I have more time for my outs. Also, I thought it was pretty fitting, right? It it wouldn't have made much sense to make a video about trying to play an alt character from scratch, trying to climb Mythic Plus rating, and then just no life the entire thing in like three days. Let's just play 15 hours of Mythic Plus a day on this character, and then in three days I'm done. <laughs> I have, I, I'm gonna go with episode one, let's start Mythic Plus, episode two, four days later. That's it, guys. I am 415, 2600 rating, I got my Keystone Hero, goodbye. The series is over. Instead, I played much less on the character. I would say I played about as much as you would as a casual player, you know, occasionally doing some mythic plus on your character for example so with that being said we jumped some you know 15 plus almost 20 item levels compared to the last time we we looked at this character we had some upgrades of course this thing right here was from the old uh, weekly about getting the normal item from the raid this one was from getting the last weekly last week's weekly about getting a heroic piece from from the raid you had this one, which was straight from Mythic Plus. You had this one, which also was straight from Mythic Plus. Same goes for this one. This was another uh, transformed piece of gear, thanks to the Our Dear Catalyst. Very helpful to alt characters, as well as this one, also coming from the Catalyst, as well as this one. And as soon as I'm done with this week's weekly, I can get my four piece set bonus on this character. So most of the pieces are still all basically from whatever i was able to grab from from mythic plus honestly it's also quite impressive despite the low not 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 very high amount of mythic plus keys i was able to get basically one piece of gear per slot from mythic plus the exception being the helmet which is still a scuffed primal storm reward and then you have the crafted gear as you can very well see from the icon i have a lariat on my necklace and I have a crafted piece of gear for my two-handed weapon. This is at the moment just three, so I have still two sparks left to, to craft pieces of gear with. I am missing now just the, the primal focus required to craft a piece of gear, but we got at this item level, which around this time, it's enough to start, you know, entering the 15 plus range of, of mythic plus keys which is what I haven't even been doing yet so far on the character. We have been very, very, <laughs> very, very conservative in entering keys. We've only done one keys in at the 15 level, Temple of the Jay Serpent. The rest was just a bunch of 14s. So this week is the week we are starting to go into a bit of a higher level in Mythic Plus on this character. I had, despite not playing it nearly as much, uh, I had quite a good time playing as a tank. It's also quite good to feel like you are responsible for yourself right this is uh, mostly one of the benefits you can you can have as a tank in mythic plus very often if you play a dps you have to be you have to be healed you have to hope that your tank stays alive and then for the most part you are there to do damage but if something else goes wrong then it's not that you can do something about it you're somewhat you know, helpless about about the, the, the result. But as a tank, you know, Blizzard has developed the game recently to make so that tanks are mostly self-sufficient. In particular, the more the more mainstream, the more meta tanks. Prot Warrior, for example, Blood Death Knight is another example. I'm sure soon 
you will see more and more of another tank which will join the meta gang i'm talking about protection paladin these type of tanks are quite self-sufficient so it's nice to enter a key full of pugs that as you remember from my previous videos teachings you always have to assume pugs are made up of clowns you shouldn't trust your pugs you shouldn't believe in them in any way and always think that you are the one who needs to carry the key so when you have that mindset in a pug it's nice to be a tank it's nice to be self-sufficient and to not have to rely on other players in the key to do the job so that is a refreshing change of pace compared to playing a healer in a mythic plus keys it does also help as i mentioned before that you get to learn different things because as you play a healer sure you get to you get to learn a lot about the dungeon a lot about the dangerous parts of a dungeon but many many times it will be dangerous dangerous parts of the dungeons for your party dangerous parts for maybe two or three players but as a tank you get to learn also about the very dangerous parts for yourself the so-called tank busters the very dangerous mobs that can hurt you for a lot you get to learn <laughs> learn different different dangerous parts of a key which will also help you when you go back to play the healer because if you then go back to play your healer for example now you also know and you also have much more clear which of the mobs are going to be very dangerous for the tank rather than which of the mobs are going to be very dangerous for the entire party so you even get more knowledge playing your main character as you play an alt in a different role which is what i have been learning playing this tank recently if anything if anything if there is one thing i noticed when playing this tank because i am playing of course at much much lower key levels than i'm playing on my main you know going from uh, plus 22 keys all the way down to plus 14 keys the the amount of danger the amount of, of threat of certain mechanics is much much lower you do learn that uh, perhaps perhaps sometimes you are a little bit more you know less excited by seeing how poorly certain things are done basically by seeing how easily you can get away with mistakes at this level of key for example right here being a plus 14 key in uh, no good offensive and being a fortified key not even a tyrannical key you're like yes sure let's just pull all the ads in you have abomination limb let's keep them all crowd control try to silence as many of them it's gonna be easy peasy and then you know a whole bunch of players end up dying there are no interrupts whatsoever it ends up being a disaster you know if this were to happen in a actual high key this was going to be a wipe there is only three minutes left so you don't even have time to re-pull the boss meaning the key is is bricked the key is over <laughs> there is no more hope but because the key is just a plus 14 you're able to basically ignore the the round of mistakes done in in this key and just finish the entire the entire thing another classic would be the intermission of a blade despite the fact that this intermission has been nerfed like five times already you enter this key at a very low level at a plus 14 and you get to see not one but two different players die in the intermission because they get hit by orbs you know if this were to happen in a higher key you know this key is doomed you know it's all over you have two players die in the first intermission to the balls flying around it's over luckily it's a low key you know we haven't had any previous deaths that required a combat rest so you can get them both up and you kind of manage to salvage the key that is perhaps the only sort of um, sad feeling when trying to play an alt and going back down to lower levels of key the fact that you get to go away you get to you get to run away with bigger mistakes that you would see in higher keys and it sort of feels a little bit worse because you know basically you know you have done a doo-doo you know you should have been punished but actually you you don't and you won't because the key level is is low enough but besides that part as long as i'm not the one making the doo-doo as long as i'm the one playing properly and it's other people making mistakes then I go, I go back to my point one then i go back to my rule one of pugs assume everyone in the pug is a clown and you are the only one who knows how to play and has to carry the key and everything makes sense again and everything ends up making sense again so 
with that in mind i've had still my decent amount of fun playing this character and trying to gear it up i'm still perhaps not fully convinced about the the future of the character this is mostly just to have something extra to do in this uh, down in this down time of the season because as i mentioned i just finished basically raiding so now what's left is going to be mostly just farming on my my main character so there isn't really much else to do as far as raiding is concerned so what's left is is playing some alts and also eventually what's gonna be left is starting to get prepared and to look towards to start looking to start eyeing the next patch one of the many cycles we will be going to <laughs> thinking about what you're going to be playing in the next patch for example right you have to start eyeing you have to start thinking about the the changes that blizzard is bringing is my my character is my class and my spec looking still looking good is it going to get changed is it going to get changed enough is it going to be made worse is it going to be made better so that is also another thing i will have to keep in mind when when thinking about how how deep how far i want to bring this character eventually down the line but for now the path towards keystone hero continues i believe we just got now to keystone conqueror passing 1500 getting towards our 2k rating for keystone master perhaps perhaps the only thing i am lamenting about playing this character about playing a blood death knight is the same reason why the first time around several years ago when i was thinking about a tank i initially chose protection paladin that was because i had the mindset of a healer so i wanted i still wanted something helpful to give my team i still wanted to feel like i was helping them i was trying to carry them fully not just by staying alive myself but also saving them so obviously paladin was the best option paladin had a bunch of helpful tools from from blessing of protection to blessing of spell wording lay on hands word of glory even blessing of sacrifice so you had plenty of, of things to use to save your, your your team but now as a blood death knight you kind of have nothing if you see one of your pals failing a mechanic you kind of have to just watch them you kind of have to just be a voyeur and look at them fail miserably without a, a way to help them so that is perhaps the only pet peeve i have around blood death knight the inability basically to help anyone else very good very good at helping yourself and being quite the loner not requiring much of any help much of any outside help but then when it comes to actually helping others blood death knight is quite the uh, quite the selfish type of of spec that is perhaps the only thing that uh, i don't enjoy too much about about blood death knight but uh, besides that it's been a good run i'll continue to update my series on getting to keystone hero on this character as we go deeper with uh, likely <laughs> much uh, closer updates that once every couple of weeks as i mentioned now that i have more time to play on this character rather than on my my main so stay tuned for any future and close updates on this character but uh, for now for now it's time to leave each other on this saturday i'm going to leave you guys the rest of your weekend we start of course our goodbyes by thanking all of my patreon supporters for the contribution for the help of the growth of this uh, channel you can do so by liking and commenting down below on this video as well as subscribing to the channel itself there are also other ways to support like for example following me on twitter or also following me over at my stream on twitch which will be go live i've been told by experts relatively soon and you will hear more also about it <laughs> soon and besides that though it's time to leave for real thank you guys again for watching see you guys soon and in the meantime okay thanks for the support to all of my birds in the background chirping like there is no tomorrow now i have to go out to shop for some groceries and i'll bring a gun to silence some of them